Hello, I'm Margaret Cavellis, Mayor of the Manawatu District Council. A few years ago, our council came up with a vision to be connected, vibrant and thriving Manawatu, the best rural lifestyle in New Zealand. And this year we've come once again to reviewing our long-term plan and we find that our vision is still appropriate. And we're a very fortunate community because we're still attracting and retaining residents and attracting new businesses. So this year in our long-term plan, much of it will be business as usual. Part of our draft long-term plan, we're proposing to increase total rates by 5% so that we can upgrade our community facilities and services, improve our communication and service to our residents, upgrade our infrastructure so that it's available for generations to come, and so that we can continue to attract and retain businesses and plan for new development, and that we can continue our commitment to the Manawatu River Accord, and also to the Regional Development Strategy. As a council, we're often questioning what we're doing and the decisions we're making as to whether it meets the Local Government Act. The purpose of local government is to enable local decision making and action on and behalf of communities. And in terms of meeting current and future needs, are we providing good quality local infrastructure local public services and performance of regulatory functions in a manner that's cost effective for households and for businesses. In our long term plan there are three key issues that we're seeking your feedback on which is really important to us. The first of these is a single economic development agency. The second is ultra fast broadband to the industrial zone and we're looking at a targeted rate around that. And the third is that we're looking at reducing the amount of funding in our community grants. Of course there are many, many other projects that Council is still involved in. Now these are projects that we've already made decisions around and we've already got funding for them. One of them being the upgrade of the Fielding Wastewater Treatment Plant. It's a very big long-term investment, as you know. The second one is the Mangaweka Bridge. We're looking at refurbishing that or replacing it. We're looking at a cycleway between Fielding and Palmerston North. And of course, we're also looking at the Makino Aquatic Centre upgrade. And there are many more. And if you would like to comment on any of these, feel free to do so. But do remember those three key issues that we want your feedback on especially. The proposed long-term plan takes into account, of course, our fiscal prudence, levels of service and affordability. And if we get all this right, then we can ensure that we will be the most connected, vibrant, thriving uh, district. We really want your feedback. And the way you can do this is through submissions. You can go on the website, for instance, and you can download a submission form from haveyoursay.kiwi.nz or you can get a form and fill that in from the council. It's a written submission. And if you're having trouble and not sure about how to make your submission, don't hesitate to come into council and speak to me or speak to any councillor. That's what we're there for, to help you have your say. So we encourage all of you to give us feedback, especially on those three key issues, but anything else that you think that Council needs to be thinking about in terms of its long-term plan. Thank you so much for listening and for considering our plan.